All right, so we have a, a nice looking cart here, but we want to be able to add quantity and reduce quantity uh, on these guys right here. Now, the interesting thing is um, if we simply uh, if we simply click here and add it using a JavaScript, the problem is that we we won't add that number to the session so we need a way to actually add this when we click here we have to refresh the whole page just to add this quantity here so the thing is in future we're going to see how in in, in future videos we're going to see how to do this without refreshing the page so that once we click here even the cart is updated automatically so it's not a difficult thing to do but we must put the old-fashioned way first just in case javascript is not working then the cart will still work when a user clicks regardless of their device same thing here when we want to remove an item from the cart we'll have to go through a similar process so what i will do here is i will put links here to take us to add to cart so let's come back here on add to cart here Now, the issue with the uh, add to cart is that it redirects us back to, to the shop. But this is not what we want. What we want is to be redirected to wherever it is that we came from and not uh, where this, just a very specific location. So let's use the session to see how we can do that now before i do this uh, let me go to the cart itself here the view and let me link to add to cart here so as you can see here there is this plus sign so there's a plus sign and a minus sign here so these are the two guys that add or decrease a number so we need details on what we're increasing here and what we're reducing. And those details are obviously the, uh, the item, the item in the cart, the ID of the item in the cart so that we know that way we don't have to follow an order. So that ID and I think just add or subtract should be enough okay all right so what i'll do here is i will uh, put an href here so inside the href we will do this put some php tags and of course we need root let me close that and after root root we have add to underscore cart so we will use add to cart for all these operations so that we do everything in one place instead of having to create more controllers. Uh, a controller is capable of doing multiple things. So we're just going to use that. So I will put another slash here. So add to cart, but instead I will put um, a variable at the end there. So that variable will be something like um, quantity. And then maybe something like add because there's quantity add or subtract. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now the thing is we need the to know the actual ID of the thing we are doing. So I think we already know that once we say add or subtract, let me put subtract here. I think we already know once we put add and subtract that we are dealing with the quantity because there's really nothing else that we have to deal with when it comes to the cart. So instead here we're going to replace this section with uh, the ID of the item. So some more PHP tags here. I'll put row and then I will put ID. And then quickly close that. All right. So let me come back here and do a refresh and when i hover 
on this thing i will see the link on the bottom left corner of my browser that's showing exactly what's happening here so we have all the information we need but also we can do the same for the delete button here so we will get exactly the same link like so the same data but then let's go to the card delete which is this one right here and in the href here i will paste that and instead of subtract i will say now you can put delete or you can put remove that's entirely up to you okay so looking good here let me refresh and there we go so we have everything we need now now we just have to be to make it so that once we go that side we are returned in uh, safely back to where we came from so at this point what i want to do is to let's see add to cart here uh, ba -ba -ba I don't want any of these to actually run, so I will die over here. I just want us to see what information we are getting. So here already we are receiving the ad. Uh, actually, instead of doing all this, let's switch things up a little bit. Since the controller can have multiple uh, methods in here. So let's just add a different method because I've just realized that uh, we have ID here. And if we start adding other uh, variables, we'll have to repurpose the ID and I don't want to do that. So let's just copy this, come down here. And uh, paste down there like so okay so controller 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 okay so now what we will do instead of this we're just going to say function um, what we do function add underscore quantity just so we can remember it uh, very well next time. Duplicate and duplicate. So add quantity, uh, subtract quantity, subtract quantity, and then delete like so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we will need the ID of the thing we are dealing with. And since we're already going into the particular function, we already know the action. So we know the action is once we are in here, we're adding to the quantity. And um, this is the, the ID of the item. Yeah, so this is all the information we need. The only thing is now we have to change our link. So let's come back here and edit our link a little bit. We know that how to go to the method is through the second parameter here. So all we have to do is change, swap these two. So instead of remove, I think we, let's just follow what we've done here. And instead of delete, let's add remove. Right. So let's swap these two right here. So I'll get this. I'll get this, move it over here, and then get that, move it back here. This way we have add to cart, and then it will actually find this method inside. And once it finds the method, which is this one, and then it will leave the ID to be the item in here. So we do the same thing here, subtract quantity. So come back here, I'll put subtract quantity there. And then I will move this over and remove this subtract there. So that subtract quantity and ID. So of course you have guessed by now that we'll do exactly the same here as well. So I will move this over there and then it will say something like add 
you know, copying and pasting is a good idea. That way you avoid making simple, silly mistakes. So paste, slash like that, and so on. Okay, so good. Now, let's go back here and just make sure that we are reaching the correct intended uh, place. So say echo, add to quantity. Just so we know that we've arrived at the correct place. So I'll copy this, put it there, put it there. So remove. And then here, uh, subtract. All right, so let's refresh. Mm -hmm. Now let's click here and see the moment of truth. Click, so you see add to quantity. Click, subtract quantity, and click remove. So it's guessing what we are supposed to be doing. So the only thing remaining is to actually do those things and create the logic in these functions right here.